on to question number four. What is the def uh, definition of sublimation? So generally speaking, sublimation is a phase transition from solid straight to gas. So what's cool about sublimation is that it doesn't pass through a liquid phase. And then I'll just write out Let's say we had a metal solid. When it sublimates, so each metal may have a certain sublimation temperature, and once it reaches that temperature, it'll turn into a gas. So let's see what our junior tutor said. Sublimation is defined as the phase transition from solid to gas without passing through an intermediate liquid phase. It is an endothermic phase transition that occurs at temperatures and pressures below the triple point. Take note that the sublimation term only applies to physical reaction and changes. Any phase changes from solid to gas through chemical reaction is not defined as sublimation. So basically, it has to be a natural like phase change that occurs when there is like a change in temperature or in, a change in pressure. Like if you added like oxygen or something to your metal and then it turns into a gas, this doesn't count as sublimation. So desublimation is the opposite process of sublimation wherein a gas undergoes phase, phase change into solid form. Below are some examples of sublimation. Dry ice sublimates into carbon dioxide vapor at room temperature and pressure. Uh, the, I'm guessing freezer burns occur due to the sublimation of ice into water vapor. And finally, naphthalene balls readily sublimates at room temperature and pressure. So this solution is correct, and they gave good examples as well. Okay, so now let's move on to question number.